none or there is none? Welcome back to UMG Orlando. Mr. X joined by Benson. Uh, this next one, it's going to be Uplink, you know, one of our favorite game modes. We've talked it about is. it tons and tons of times. I mean, uh, you know, I think it just grew on everybody uh, before Columbus. Not too many people, you know, too keen on it. And then I think after Columbus, it's really kind of shown to be everybody's. I mean, it's my favorite game mode to cast and oh, watch. I think it's a lot of other people at homes, you know, new favorite game mode to uh, watch. But it's going to be Comeback, which I uh, really high scoring that. Yes, you, you tend to see a, a lot of kind of that stopwatch rule initiated, yep. teams hitting 10 points. You definitely see that on comeback a lot. Um, interestingly, though, you know, the, speaking to some of the European teams that were over here, I was saying, you know, how's your guys up playing? Because when the game first came out, they were amazing at it. But they haven't been playing it that much due to their kind of own individual rule set that they've been playing. So it's very hard for top European teams to find scrims for uplink because no one else is really playing it. So how is that going to affect Swanee and Optic Nation and uplink? Um, so far from what we've seen, not too heavily. They seem to be pretty good at uh, uplink, I'm, I'm not going to lie. But Prophecy, from what we saw earlier on, you know, they play it so strategically and so well that this is going to be tough for Nation. I think Nation, the way they need to play uplink is they need to just have Swanee sit on the drone side of the map every time he spawns up with a bow and kill him, things. just kill as many people as he can. Yeah. They yep. can try and simple the game for him, you know, to the point where he can just focus on one thing and just get extremely good at that as fast as possible on uplink, you know, to really you know, be a difference maker. Ricky with the satellite drone goes bottom mid, looking to try to get for a one-point play. TP there to deny him. And TP picks up that drone. He's going straight over bottom middle himself. And TP can actually go for a one-point play. Jumps over the wall, connects. And Optic Nation, 1-0 in the lead. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Nation, they've impressed me a lot throughout uh, the entire series. Obviously, you know, winning that hard point. Then even in the loss in the S&D, you know, the last round they played extremely poorly. I don't think anyone can say otherwise, but yeah. no. Without the entire s and I thought they were pretty good. And, you know, come out here and score first on uplink. That's a very good start. We'll see if they can carry oh, no. it on. And uh, that was a missed shot right there from Parasite. And it looks like Swanee, he's going to be your drone carrier going down that right side of the map. And that's exactly what you need. And he's just going to get yards on that drone. Try and make a play right here. Huge kills coming in from Swanee. Swanee needs a little bit of help from his teammate. So Kama goes down. TP is still there. That drone has five seconds before it's going to reset. Someone needs to try and jump on it. TP with one second left. Connects with the drone and gets a two-point play. A little close for comfort, but he was able to get it. And Nation now with a 3-0 lead. It's so interesting to watch how his role has kind of changed from Black Ops 2 to Ghost, right. then over here to Advanced Warfare. I mean, you know, obviously on the, uh, the complexity EG teams, he was you know, the OBJ player. You know, had a... Moments in Ghost, you know, where I, I thought he was probably the best player of the game. He was phenomenal yep. uh, you know, towards the middle of Ghost around Champ's time. Just so consistent. And then, uh, you know, coming <laughs> into Advanced Warfare, I mean, uh, you didn't know what to expect out of him, uh, you know, just in role. But, I mean, he is picked up in the slaying department. I mean, he, he is very talented in the slaying department. I mean, top fragging this lobby right now at 11 and 5. He was just on a massive streak for finally falling. And he has all the uplinks for Nation. So, TP, a one-man mission is he gets more kills right now. Proofy has a satellite drone as well. He's going to be pushing around the right-hand side. Unfortunately, TP does fall. So Proofy now just really needs to try and put yards into that drone, try and put it in the enemy's base. And that's exactly what he goes for. And it's going to be bouncing around underneath the enemy base. Ricky, who was EMP'd, manages to get that one out of bounds. And that satellite drone is now going to reset. I would like to see Proof wait a little bit right there. Didn't have any teammates in positions to push up and get kills and get the uh, yeah. drone in the base, try and get a score, you know. It's almost like playing the drone right there in that position. I would have rather seen him play the drone than play for kills right. around the yeah, respawn of it. But looks like we're going to get a play on that drone. But Nation can hold on, you know, keep up two from a bad side. That would be a very good first half for them. But oh, looks like Prof, they can't get any control over drone side of the map. Oh, this is big plays right now. Optic Nation have Prof's base completely wide open. If that gunfight goes in, which it does, TP was looking like he was going to go for one. Now goes for two, connects with it. And Nation, five, one in the lead. Oh. And TP is just on fire right now. 18 and seven, a five streak for him, as well as having all five uplinks for Optic Nation. He is just embarrassing Prophecy right now from behind. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, he, he hates to lose. I don't think, <laughs> you know, after, after what Optic Nation has kind of gone through, I, oh I think it comes TP. to a point where, yeah, I mean, you just need to need to win just because, I mean, <laughs> oh, man, he is just on a tear right now. Nine streak, Ben. But, you know, all these players are so established and they have such great, right. you know, careers and everything. You know, they need to pick up these wins. I mean, it's, it's tough to watch and it's tough for them to kind of swallow. And I think they really just need to, I don't want to say try harder. Obviously, they're trying. 
very hard to pick up these wins, you know, in the COD League and, you know, here at these events. But you know, they just really need to just you know, be extremely focused and on top of their A game at all times. Legal, he's going to fall. Parasite 8 and 14, so not able to continue on the rampage that he left in Search and Destroy. But he may actually be able to get a couple of points here. That satellite drone is going to reset in one second. Uh, TP actually managed to pick that one up. 23 and 9, still with 40 seconds left. Has the drone in his hand, looking at trying to extend this lead, which Prof already have. And he's going to actually go for this one. He could just maybe go for the one point play. Misses oh. the melee. Now has to go for two and misses double jump. TP just jump up uh. in the air. Finally gets it. Luckily, he had Karma in support. Karma picked up a big two piece there on legal. And Parasite and TP running straight towards glass. Straight oh, towards Prof's one. I mean, Karma with great support right there for TP. Uh, Nation goes up seven to one on bad side here, Ben. Right. Uh, you know, you usually don't see anything near seven points on bad side here. Prof. On a uh, comeback. Kind of uh, falling asleep a little bit. The EMP comes in. That's clutch. Ricky not able to double jump over the wall. Four plays go down. And time comes out. And I can hear Nation from, yeah. from here. They are getting pumped in that booth. They know. They just put up a solid performance. TP 23 kills. Karma and Chino. As well, sorry. <laughs> Karma and Swanee. Both with 14. And Proofy down there with 12. But well, I, I think Swan brings a... A little bit of a swagger with him. Obviously, if you ever swagger? seen Swanee player, you know, you've heard him on a listening. I mean, he is just a. Uh, he's loud. Yeah, he's loud. <laughs> and I think that's what this team needed. You know, uh, they're all such nice guys that you know, right. it's almost like they, you know, when they got pushed back by like a bully, they never, they never <laughs> retaliated in any way. And I think Swan, you know, he's going to add that little bit of a mean streak that's really going to, you know, help Optic Nation going forward. Parasite with another attack on TP, looking and trying to get over towards Yellow. He is going to drop Ricky though. Should be there to pick up that drone. Does so, and looking at that minimap, he's going to have to go for one. Does so, and um, manages to reduce that deficit now to five points. Good initial 30 seconds there for Prof. Able to get a point on the board, of course, on that bad side. But TP now has that drone, and TP just needs to wait for some help. He's uh, really pinned in, but manages to get out of that one still alive. And to be honest, maybe a one-point play towards middle could be a better option because he is being chased. Now he just goes straight for that one-point play, throws it up in the air and connects. Two plays from Prof trying to get for the interception and not able to connect with it. Karma now looking to just try and slay Prof out from their own base. Yeah, just great patience from Teep. And you see Karma, he's going to get a collateral right there, taking out two players. But Teep getting in control of the drone again. He's going to just go for that one-point score, able to get it he as Nation. He has all nine points. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's doing everything right now. I mean, he's leading them in the OBJ department, leading the <laughs> lobby in the slaying department. Uh, just a great overall game from him. Parasite is able to pick up the kill on TP though, bottom middle. As the struggle continues now for Prophecy here on Uplink comeback. It's Karma oh. just dropkick Ricky to the face and then slapped him with the satellite drone. TP there to pick up the drone. Instantly, as his teammate goes down, there is going to be a play bottom middle. TP needs to just try and get away. And <laughs> I just heard Karma scream as he hit that. That was <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. Karma's a big fan of the drop kick. He uh, loved. Have you, have you seen this drop kick montage? And uh, he has a montage of him drop kicking people. That's it's, pretty awesome. It's highly entertaining. I got to check that out. But uh, I, I know he's a fan of that. I, that would have been pretty sweet to see. I don't think I've seen that on LAN yet. No. So that would have been awesome to watch. Never seen anyone actually pick up a kill like that. Fizz, he is going to fall. Feed, looks to be able to kill, does so, and drone in a pretty dangerous place right now for Nation. They could do with maybe just trying to get that to reset. There is five seconds left on it. Swanee has it and does just that. Turns around, throws it out of bounds. Nine to two, though, with two and a half minutes left. This is be great for Optic Nation to go two one up in this series. And Swanee has played this uplink absolutely phenomenal. You know, has only 15 deaths. That's really the column I was kind of looking at. Just staying alive and just. Yep on that drone side of the map, able to just control it and just put on shots on people with that bow and just, you know, force them to move back and giving them great map position for Nation. I think that's really what separated them. Obviously, Teep's performance on this map is separated, <laughs> but, you know, Swanee, they're just playing phenomenal as well. TP is just single-handedly destroying them in terms of the objectives. I mean, just his decision-making, just try and stay alive, to dip out of gunfights, to be patient, wait for his teammates. And, and his understanding, you know, when you have that drone, you're not really going to be able to do anything. But TP again goes for a one-point play. This time, it falls a little short, and Parasite should be able to try and run that out that right-hand side. Has Ricky there in support, but he gets slayed down, and Ricky has to drop back to pick up that drone. Yeah, only a minute 45 seconds left, though. This looks actually uh, pretty good for Nation, unless they end up in a spawn trap. But still, we haven't really seen 
anyone who can attack this yellow roof side and put up tons of points uh, in a small amount of time. As long as the nation controls the drone, you know, even if they're able to just play it a few times, they're going to win this map. Yep, one and a half minutes left. You know, we, we say sometimes nation lose composure at the end of games and kind of uh, fall apart a little bit. It's kind of hard to fall apart from a six point lead, but we've seen crazy things happen. So don't count Prof out just yet unless Tiki can try and add a couple more points to the board. Maybe just a one point play and that should realistically seal the deal. He goes for the one point, not going to be able to get it off in time. There's a Karma's going to be left with a couple of kills in front of him. Ricky has that drone, he's trying to get it out. He falls too. Proofy trying to get the kills. If he can pick up this kill, he could maybe just turn around and go for one. Gets the kill. Can he get the drone in his hand quick enough? No, he can't. Plus, he has stun grenade, which killed Proofy there from Ricky. Yeah, he was extremely weak. He took uh, the damage from the stun, actually took him out. Looks like Teep's going to try and push in for another cap. Karma's going to take out two. Proof able to r run. Trio must get the satellite drone carrier, but he is taken out. Legal going to try and make an attempt on the ON base. It's going to be Swanee intercepting that pass. He's going to throw it right out of bounds. Great play right there from Swan. 30 seconds left, Ben. Uh, this yeah. one is done deal. Yeah, massive props to TP with those 10 uplinks and the most kills in the lobby. Really putting on a great display here on uplink comeback. More kills going on right at the very end of this game. But as you said, Matt, this one over. Optic Nation go 2 1 up in the series. And going over into a CTF, if Nation can carry that momentum through, Nation going to pick up the win here. Yeah, so the next, uh, it's actually going to be CTF on Biolab. So, okay. be an interesting one to see. I, I think, you know, if you were to get it a uh, CTF for Nation, I think this would probably be the easiest one. The yeah. retreat, they have too many AR players. You'd have too many players kind of arguing over who would be the <laughs> AR role. I think uh, Biolab is a little bit easier, and especially with the way uh, Teep and Swanee are playing right now, they're going to look extremely good going into the CTF. Yeah, they just completely dominated that comeback up links, that's for sure. For now, though, quick commercial break, and when we come back, we'll have that Biolab CTF.